Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. You need to address. Well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country. And this story has been brought to you by racism. Racism is accepted wherever true Americans are. Perfect. You're a black girl. <laughs> you know your roots. <laughs> it's February. <laughs> your mom is never letting anyone in. History Month, right? You see exactly what the white girls are doing. They're taking some type of, I guess, hairspray or whatever it is that her mom has or something maybe from a previous party, whatever it is. She's taking it and she's spraying it on her sister or her friend, whoever it is, face, and, you know, telling them that, you know, it's black history and you know, you're a slave, you're this, you're that. And you see all the white girls back there laughing and he on yada, yada, yada. And before, before, before I we, we get far enough where some person was to write in the comment section, oh, but isn't this what you brothers, you know, end up wanting, you end up dating and marrying them. Let me just make this very, very clear to a lot of those who want to keep using that same sorry, tired line. A lot of y'all parents send your sons to these all white schools and they end up all around these types of girls, dating them, marrying them and having kids. So, again, again, before people want to use that same sorry, tired line, just remember, it's not the young black boys that send themselves to these schools that end up around girls like this, it's the black parents that send them to those schools and they end up being around those girls. And then once they get up into a profession like uh, NBA or NFL, those girls are the same ones that spotted them a while ago and they're going to stay directly on their heels. A few minutes later. School stated, dear members of the St. Hubert community, we are writing to follow up on yesterday's communications to provide additional information about the matter and school operations for the remainder of the week. Update. First and foremost, we remain extremely disappointed that anyone connected with our school would engage in racially charged behavior. We recognize and understand that the actions of some of our students have reopened societal wounds in a deeply painful way. Those allegedly responsible are not present in school and are being disciplined appropriately. Should our ongoing review determine involvement by any other student, they will also face disciplinary actions. We take this opportunity. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, I'm not even, I don't even feel like reading the rest of it because um, I've been reading notes like this from schools uh, over the years. Don't matter if they end up cutting your son's hair, your daughter's hair. Uh, don't matter if the teacher did something, if an assistant principal or a superintendent, whoever it is, somebody at the school did something to a black student. Uh, they come up with pretty much the same exact letter saying the same exact thing like, oh, this is a teachable moment. This is a lesson for all of us. This one student or these many students don't represent all of us. We, you know, we pledge and we, everybody is this and everybody, we don't see color. We don't, we're we're all inclusive. It's, it's the same exact thing. It's an all-white school. What do you think is going to happen? For the black people out there, it's an all-white school. What do you think is going to happen? You really, you really think that this school is going to implement such <coughs> drastic and, 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 and blanket changes that it's going to, you know, really shake up the student body? No, it's not. They're not going to do anything. They're, they're just body blocking. They're just, like I said, whenever the schools are like, yeah, uh, we're, we're disciplining them, and, uh, but we can't tell you what it is. They're not doing nothing. They're not doing nothing. Notice if this is like a sports game or something, guess what? 
they're going to sit up there and say, hey, this person is out for the season. They're not they're not going to receive, you know, pay and all this other stuff. Like they're they're basically out of commission like that. That's normally what they do. How about they do that for the exact same students that want to perform these racist deeds? Well, um, they're not going to be in school for a semester if they want to be racist. And, you know, they're coming against the, you know, people in the student body, making them feel uncomfortable and certain things like that. We're going to affect them the way that they affected those students. You're you're out for a semester. You're out for a semester. You're out for a few months. We're not giving you the work. You're just going to be taking L's on all of that work because you decided that you wanted to be racist. These uh, uh, these types of ideals and, and words uh, have implications, right? They can have certain effects on those students that you're you know, trying to have feel a certain type of way. They might start to feel anxiety. They might not be able to focus properly. That's going to make their grades drop. Other kids are going to join in. Then they're going to add on top of whatever it is that you put out there. Those kids are going to add on top of that. So now it's even more that that student or that those students now have to sit up there and deal with. So now they feel unsafe. Now that they're skipping school, now that they don't want to appear in certain classes, now they don't want to go to lunch. Now they got to figure out a certain way to go through school. Or in some instances, now they got to move away to a whole nother school because of what it is that you incited and it acted towards this student or these students affecting their education, their ability to learn, to get an edu- you know, to, uh, free education, whatever it is. So I feel that that is the best way <coughs> to affect a lot of these uh, racist students out here. Start affecting them by their educations. Start taking them out by some months or 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 by some uh by some seasons, whatever it is. I don't even care. W- w- whatever it is, affect them uh by affecting their education. Then the parents will start doing something because oh, this is this is this is all they have. This is the prospects. Uh, they're they're supposed to be going to Yale. Uh, they're 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 supposed to be going to Oxford. Uh, they're 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 supposed to be going to Princeton. You know, w- once it starts affecting that, and then. Those colleges are like, yo, why were you out for for like a season or some months? Like, what happened here? Explain this. Then they they don't really give the explanation. So then they go back and they look at the record. Might not be in the record. So they go back and talk to the school. Oh, this person was right. Re- oh, that's why? <laughs> we can't accept that here. It'll be a bad look for us. We We will not allow racism to affect our brand or to represent our brand. That's not what we do here at Oxford. That's not what we do here at Princeton. That's not what we do here at Stanford. <laughs> that's what needs to happen. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Some people be like, oh man, that's too far. It's not, you know, it's not even that serious. You know, it's uh it's kids being kids. Uh, you know, kids say, you know, stupid and dumb things that they don't even really understand. Well, if they don't really, you know, know and understand it as kids, that's because, you know, uh, the actual history about racism isn't being taught, which is quite odd because a lot of people want to say that racism doesn't exist, even though clearly by this video we can hear and see that it does. But yet again, you would still have black representatives out here or those who feel that they represent black people say that racism doesn't exist. So again, I would want to wonder how it is that they would talk about the situation. Oh, you know, it's bad and all, but, uh, uh, you know, it's just a variable. It doesn't represent, you know, all white people. I got white kids. I got, you know, mixed kids. You know, I got white friends. They got white kids. I got coworkers. I'm friends with a white president. You know, they, they, they would, you know, start, you know, talking in their normal, you know, tones and uh, skipping over the point of what took place. And then they'll be like, oh, well, you know, even if it's the case of racism, um, you know, I never allowed it to hold me back. You know, uh, I, it, it never affected me because I never saw it. <sighs> like I said, it's, you know, this is just the, 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 the situation um, that black Americans, you know, are in. And as I stated before, we are the only ones that can, in a sense, fix uh, these situations and make them better. And that is at least by the some of us who have common sense and logic and want the best for our children and our community and our people to come together, pull money together and start to formulate our own schools. Having black teachers, having a black curriculum in there, 
so that we can teach our kids what we need to teach them. Because, like I said, much much respect to the Asians. They got two. They they, they send their uh, their kids to two different schools. They send them to the public schools and then they send them to their own schools. So, like I said, those kids never miss out on their history. They're not getting taught the wrong things. They're learning. You know, they're not really getting indoctrinated. They're learning something. Their 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 foot is in the door. But all the information ain't directly creeping in because they're they're making sure to reinstate exactly specifically who it is that they are. Right. Asians will make sure to keep their history alive. They will keep their language alive. They will keep their religion alive. They will keep their culture alive and they will make sure to pass that down to their kids. For whatever reason, yet again, black people will come up with continuous excuses on why it is that we cannot do the exact same things. The Asian Americans, in a sense, depend on themselves by way of businesses, by way of restaurants, by way of neighborhoods, by way of GoFundMes. However it is that they come together and formulate money in order for it to be in that community, they will sit up there and do whatever sacrifices needed to be made or that needs to be made right now. They will sit up there and do it. Black people are the only ones that will not do it. And this is exactly why black children are going through these instances right now because we refuse to sacrifice for them now. But we want these kids to sacrifice for us later by taking care of us, by voting and and, and passing the correct and the right laws and, and getting into the right positions and all this other, anything to make us happy. But we won't do anything to protect them and make sure that they're getting the things that they need right now. So like I said, um, there's going to be a lot of people end up paying a very heavy price. And they're not going to like what it is that they're going to have to sit up there and pay later on. Like I said, people will learn uh, later rather than sooner. So like I said, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to end up being suffering because a few didn't want to do something.